Welcome to the Transform Your Wedding Podcast, a how-to guide for taking your wedding to a whole new level. Here's your host, Marie Kubin from Rent My Wedding. Hey, everyone. Today, we're talking about how your guests can help you have an amazing honeymoon. We'll be chatting with Sarah Margolis, the co-founder and CEO of Honey Fund. After a winning Shark Tank appearance in 2014, Sarah has become an internationally recognized expert on weddings, honeymoons, and more. Her passion is to help people live their dreams. So let's jump right in and hear all of Sarah's great advice. Hi, Sarah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's so exciting. I'm really excited to talk about Honey Fun. So let's jump right in. And why don't you tell us all about your company? Sure. So Honey Fund started in 2005. My co-founder and I were um, engaged to be married. We were uh, looking at all the options for the budget and, you know, we had, we lived together and we had all the stuff. So we thought, why don't we see if guests would contribute to our honeymoon instead of buying us, you know, box gifts. And they surprisingly, you know, completely overwhelmed us with $5,000 in contributions toward our dream trip to Fiji. And um, on top of that, they were really enthusiastic about the idea of a honey fund. And they asked us if we were going to build something for other couples to, to use. Um, our, our makeshift honey fund kind of lived on our own wedding website before we launched the website, honeyfund.com. So um, we were aspiring entrepreneurs. We were, you know, interested in doing our own thing. And, um, you know, he was a software engineer. I'm a marketing person. And we put our heads together. And about a year after our wedding, we launched honeyfun.com. The most surprising part is how well it was received. We weren't the only couple that was in that situation, obviously. And, um, you know, after more than $600 million raised and a million couples and millions and millions of wedding guests and all kinds of um, really fun and interesting new challenges like being on Shark Tank. <laughs> um, you know, the site is still thriving and, um, and serving couples who want to start their lives together in really good, uh, you know, financial position and aren't, um, you know, really, again, wanting a house full of things. They want experiences, right? Yeah, I totally agree. I think now more than ever, couples want experiences. So it's really cool to be able to give the gift of an experience and giving them a lifelong memory. Yeah, exactly. Now, you mentioned Shark Tank. I love that that's part of your startup story. And I know a lot of us are really curious to hear about that. So can you tell us a little bit about your Shark Tank experience? Yeah, so um, funny, you know, I always said like, um, when people ask me, like, how did you market Honey Fun? Like, how did you grow it? You know, and I always said, like, a, a really good and exciting and new and fresh and different idea kind of markets itself because people talk about it, right? Well, somebody had um, found Honey Fun. Somebody that worked for Shark Tank had found Honey Fun because they knew someone who was getting married and we gave a wedding gift through our platform. And so they recommended us to the casting department. And Shark Tank, this was going into season six where they were looking for more established brands and companies that were looking for bigger deals from the sharks. And so they reached out to us. It was a cold email that, um, that invited us to, you know, start a conversation about applying for the show. And I, I'm not a big fan of reality television, so I never had watched the show. Um, and I, and I, you know, was always kind of one of those, like, no way would I ever be on a reality TV show, you know? But it's, Shark Tank's a very different and special kind of a kind of a show, um, and so we watched the show. We were absolutely, you know, we loved it as entrepreneurs. It was right up our alley. Um, we talked to our advisors, who told us, you know, absolutely go for it. The you know the media exposure alone is worth millions of dollars that you can't buy. Um, so we we applied and we were cast in season six. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's amazing. And what was it like when you were actually on the show? Oh my God. I mean, being on Shark Tank was the most nerve wracking thing I've ever done. And I've had two kids without drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but it, it was more intense than that. Um, it's, it's one of those like once in a lifetime opportunities that you, uh, you, you just know there's, if you, you cannot screw it up, like failure is not an option. 
um, I imagine it's like what it feels like to go to the Super Bowl or something like that, you know, as a, as a player. Um, and the, the, you know, it, when you walk onto the set, you know, and the cameras are on, they, they have to film you for like a few seconds to get like all these different angles and stuff before the pitch starts. And so it's extra time for you to stand there and be nervous. But it's just like in every way, probably the hardest thing I've ever done, but also the most rewarding because uh, we got a deal with Kevin O'Leary and um, for five years now, he's been supporting our business um, in lots and lots of ways through um, through media exposure, PR, through additional follow-ups on Shark Tank, through, um, you know, just support. He's on, um, you know, CNBC and obviously on more episodes of Shark Tank, you know, continues to uh, tell people about the brand. And, you know, Kevin's all about personal finance and like, you know, being smart with your money. And so it's a really, um, I think it's really natural for him to talk about how Honey Fund can help couples start off on solid footing. Wow. Okay. Well, that sounds truly terrifying, that entire experience, but how incredible to see where it's taken you. And such an interesting point too, that Honey Fund is so much more than a honeymoon registry. It's also about being smart financially and putting yourself in a good position as you start your life together. Now let's talk more about the registry itself and why should couples use a honeymoon registry? Yeah. So I was doing some research recently and I um, kind of like wanting to connect with where our millennial wedding couples at in their lives, especially financially. And I ran across a stat that was pretty alarming to me. About 80% of uh, millennial individuals under the age, like around the age of 28, which is mar average marrying age, have less than $5,000 saved. So that's, uh, you know, 86% have less or 80% have less than 5,000 saved. 46% have zero saved. Oh my and the average price tag for a wedding is 35,000, not including the honeymoon, which is another 4,000. So this is why honey fund, <laughs> right? <laughs> Do I need to say more? <laughs> right? That says it all. <laughs> um, and if you're lucky enough to have 35,000 at 28, if you put that away and save it in, in the stock market for, for until you're 65, that'll be worth $1.2 million towards your retirement. So there's a lot of reasons for anybody with any, in any financial situation to think about supplementing their budget for their wedding and or their honeymoon on honey fund. And here's how it works. You sign up for an account, you put in your name and address and your bank account number, and then you share it with your friends and family. Uh, we just launched a wedding fund wish list, so you can add things to your Honey Fund page, like you know somebody to cover the cost of the flowers, or somebody to help with you know the catering or the or the photography or whatever else it is that you're doing. The rent my wedding. Um, <laughs> you can, and then you can of course register for your honeymoon. You know all the uh, nights at the resort and the travel. And, uh, first class upgrades and you know all excursions swimming the dolphins and you know day tours double, double decker buses whatever it is you're doing um and you can also just get money for your future like we're buying a house we need help with the down payment or we're we just bought a house but it's a fixer upper and so we have a lot of work to do on you know making it our dream home and the nice thing is no matter what you register for all the money goes right into your bank account as cash for you to use however you and ultimately decide is the best because let's face it when you're planning a wedding there's a lot of gotchas there's a lot of you know oh we weren't planning for that or oh we didn't budget for that or you know and and sometimes you have to you know move things around or hey there's a pandemic so we can't have the wedding we thought we were going to have but now what we want to do is put that money away for our first home or go on that huge trip next year instead of having the big party or put it in our retirement account you know so it, it, the flexibility is especially helpful right now. You know, a lot of couples go into wedding planning, like so excited and they, they, they get onto Pinterest, you know, like the rent my wedding Pinterest with 30 million viewers and they get onto, um, you know, the knot and they kind of get like sucked into the rabbit hole of like, you know, shiny, glossy, pretty weddings. And they forget that weddings really are a reflection of who 
the couple is, um, not just in the colors and the flowers, but in the expression of the the uniqueness and the authenticity and the even the size and scale is a, a reflection of who the couple is. And um, when you when when you kind of when you fail to kind of stop and plan and vision out your day first, you can really end up making some choices that you wish you hadn't made. And then you wake up on your wedding day, uh, the morning after your wedding day, rather, and how much money is in your bank account? Where are you, you know, you're taking your first steps into marriage together and you have no money to, to, to do anything next. Believe me, there's a lot you want to do next. When you wake up the day after your wedding, you want to start buying your baby. You want to start buying that house, right? Exactly. And so I think, you know, the, the typical path to planning your wedding is there's a lot of pitfalls for couples and they can avoid them if they just pause for a second, take a moment and say, all right, this is what we're visioning. This is how much money we realistically have to spend. That means the guest list can only be this big and we're going to do it at home or whatever it is. Just, just really getting real about all that stuff up front as a way to prepare for being married and starting off your marriage together, right? Yeah, I think that is such a huge point. You really want to make sure that you take some time on the front end and plan your budget and make sure you've got everything covered and that it's a budget you can actually afford. You will be so happy and thankful later that you took the time to do that. Now, Sarah, can you also tell us a little bit about how do you get guests on board with the registry? So I know it's probably pretty straightforward for most of us, but what about if you've got maybe grandparents or someone who's not so tech savvy and they're not used to this registry idea? How do you get them on board? You know, what we've seen in, in the 14 years we've been around is um, there are a lot, the, the number of guests that are unfamiliar with the idea of a honey fund is, gro is growing smaller and smaller and smaller, right? <laughs> While the number of people that have seen this before and are used to it or come from a cultural background that gives money instead of box gifts, you know, that audience is growing a lot bigger. Um, for the people on your guest list who really are completely unfamiliar with a honey fund or the idea of giving money at, towards a honeymoon, a home down payment, whatever it is you're starting off, um, we recommend that you have a small um, traditional registry and you can link it right onto your honey fund page. And that way the wedding guest who comes to your page has options that feel right to them. Um, you know, for a grandmother, an expression of love and true authentic gifting for her might be, you know, some silver or a platter, you know, like the one that she received when she got married or something like that. And that's authentic and true. And we don't want to, um, you know, talk grandma out of that, right? Um, but for by and large, what's made Honey Fun successful is not the couples, but the givers who have been so enthusiastic about giving the gift of an experience. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. I think there's something just really exciting about being able to give the gift of an experience and something you know the couple is really going to love. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, some, some people, you know, you've traveled with your friends or whatever, and they know that you love to, you know, sit at a sidewalk bistro when you're in Europe. So that's what they want to give you. Other people, you know, like broke your scissors last time they came to your house. So they're going to buy you some scissors. You know, it's very personal. Like, whatever people give you. And so we want guests to have all the options for sure. Definitely. Awesome. So I know that you guys also just launched a new vendor directory. So yeah. tell us more about that. Yeah. So, you know, when, when um, the pandemic hit and when we all were asked to shelter in place, um, we, we noticed that many of our couples were feeling um, stuck because Many of them have reasons why they still need to go ahead and get married um, and or they just truly want their wedding date to be their wedding date, right? And so as a result, about 25% of couples are going ahead and getting married in one way or another. I've seen stats actually up to as high as 60% of couples, uh, depending on the group that was surveyed. And, um, and there are a lot of vendors out there who can make an at-home wedding, like really you know, fun and unique and different. And, um, and so we thought, how can we bring the vendors to the couples who want that? And so, um, you know, we started a, a directory um, on our WordPress blog and, you know, just put it out to our community of wedding vendors. And we got dozens and dozens of responses like right away. 
um, we got and rent my wedding showed up there. That's how we got connected, which I thought was so cool. I love the idea that you can, it's almost like a wedding in a box, you know, like you can kind of pick out what kind of, um, vibe you want and then just it shipped to you and you just set it up and boom, you're like, wedding is happening. Right. And that's so empowering for couples to, to know that there's solutions out there. You know, the reason we started Honey Fun is because we needed a solution. And so the, the more that we can bring unique and creative solutions to couples who are going to do it and do it their way, that just makes me so happy. <laughs> Definitely. I love how you saw this need and you just jumped right in there and got this new resource up and running so quickly. Yeah, thank you. Now, and the other thing I love to do on this podcast is just share other resources. So, besides all the great things that you have over at Honey Fund, are there any other resources or things that you might recommend to couples if they're just looking for tips or advice about planning their wedding? Yeah, for sure. Um, I was just talking to um, another podcast earlier today. Um, there's a gal who runs a, a Facebook page called Just Engaged University, and they have a great podcast and a boot camp for couples who are interested in uh, doing some of that visioning that I was talking about, taking some time to step back and, and like really educate themselves about what does it mean to be not only planning a wedding, but actually getting married and, and embarking on a lifelong relationship. I think there's a lot that goes into that that... Um, couples don't really think about because they're caught up in the, in the wedding day bliss and excitement, which is great, but there's more that kind of hits you in the face, you know, when you wake up the next morning that if couples are a little bit more prepared, they can be really successful. So I would definitely uh, recommend the Just Engage University um, boot camp. Uh, the other thing I would say is read our blog, honeyfund.com slash blog. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing about ways to um, really think about your wedding in a new way to, and, and showcasing weddings that are off the beaten path that are, um, you know, at, at a more realistic price point. Um, you know, there's, there's so many cool ideas out there and so many creative ways that lots of different couples have done it that, um, you know, we're looking forward to sharing more of that on our blog. Um, the vendor directory we talked about is a great resource for just thinking outside the box, you know, like, oh, I didn't know that I could rent my decor and have it shipped to me. I didn't know that I could rent my, or that I could buy my bouquet and have the floor ship it to me. You know, I, I didn't even think about how to incorporate my wedding guests by Zoom. I could ship them a little, you know, celebration package with a bottle of champagne and, you know, some kind of favor that I may have already bought, you know, and like, help them celebrate with me at home. You know, there's so many cool and creative solutions out there. Um, so I would say follow, follow the blog and check out the Just Engage Bootcamp. Awesome. Yeah, those are such great resources. Well, last thing, why don't you tell everyone how they can connect with you and where to find you on social media? Yeah. So Honey Fun's on Pinterest and Instagram, uh, just hashtag or at Honey Fun. Um, we're also on Facebook and um uh, LinkedIn, of course, and Snapchat. And um, our website is honeyfun.com. We can also download the app in the Apple App Store uh, if you like to plan things on your phone. And make sure that when you sign up for Honey Fund, um, you link your bank account and you can also now register for gift cards on Honey Fund. So we have one of the only gift card registries in the market. And we have up to 200 brands, including you know all the popular travel brands like hotels.com and um, princess cruises royal caribbean um, we also have air airlines delta southwest and lots and lots of fun like you know dining and retail and experience like groupon and uh, StubHub, uber uber eats so you can really do a lot with our gift cards and there's no fees when you get gift cards versus a small 2.4 percent fee for cash Wow. I love how there are so many options and it's so comprehensive. Well, thank you, Sarah, so much for being here and sharing all of these great tips and advice. Thank you, Marie. Really nice to meet you. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how your guests can help you have an amazing honeymoon. And not only that, but if you use Honey Fund, your guests can actually help you have a beautiful wedding as well by helping you out with some of those wedding expenses. So not only is this a great resource, but it's really smart financially. It's going to put you in such a good position 
as you start your new life together. Well, don't forget, you can check out all of our podcast episodes over at transformyourwedding.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I can't wait to see you next time. This podcast is brought to you by Rent My Wedding, your one-stop shop for event rentals. Order online and rentals are delivered right to your door. Shipping is free both ways nationwide. Rent lighting, backdrops, photo booths, and more. With the most five-star reviews in the industry, Rent My Wedding makes rentals easy and affordable. Book your rentals today at www.rentmywedding.com.